Welcome to Zara 3D, a fast and powerful program for producing high quality 3D headings, titles and logos for use on the web and elsewhere. 3D programs are notoriously difficult to use, but this short demo will show you just how easy it can be with Zara 3D to produce stunning quality still and animated 3D graphics in seconds. We're showing a text heading in the demo, but you can just as easily create 3D graphics from imported 2D shapes. The first stage is to adjust the position and angle of the heading, which is simply a matter of dragging with the mouse anywhere in the window. This freeform dragging allows you to view the heading from any angle. You can change the text two different ways, either directly in the window by clicking here to show the cursor and then just typing. I can select alternative fonts from this drop down list. You can see the whole text changed when I do this. If I only want to change part of the text, I can use the arrow keys to move the cursor, as usual, and hold the shift key to select just part of the text. Now, when I change the font or any other characteristics such as color or bevel type, then it will be applied to the selected region only. Deselect the cursor to clear the selection. An alternative way to edit the text is to use this text option button here, which opens a text dialog box. Some people find it easier to edit the text this way. I can select alternative fonts and precisely control many advanced text options, such as kerning, tracking, line spacing, interletter spacing, and more. The main toolbar here provides access to all of the main controls, such as color, extrusion, bevel types, animation options, and more. When you select an option, such as the color options, a side panel appears with the controls in. If you so wish, you can undock this panel by dragging it away here. Here you can alter the color of the heading and the background. For this demonstration, we're using a plain background with white text. The text appears coloured on the screen because we have coloured lights shining on it, as we'll see shortly. This drop-down selects the item to be coloured, so if I select Text Sides and drag on the colour sector, you'll see the change immediately. I can alter the hue by dragging here. You're not limited to just using plain colours. You can use imported texture bitmaps to colour the text and the background by using the texture control. There is a shortcut to alter the background colour. Just double click on the background and then adjust the colour here as usual. You can even alter the colour of one letter at a time. Click on the cursor icon and then use the arrow keys to select the letter. Select the text option and adjust the colour. You can apply most other effects on a per character basis in the same way, including animation. All of the changes you make are immediately reflected in the main window. You can hide the panel by clicking here or using the shortcut Alt-O. Next, I'll show you how to create some really eye-catching effects by adjusting the lighting. Zara 3D has three separate coloured lights shining on the object and you can see these by pressing the light bulb icon. In this case, we have three coloured lights shining from above, behind and the side of the text. The striped light controls the position of the shadow. To alter the light, I just drag the arrows. If you keep dragging left or right, the light will rotate around the shape to the front or back. You can see the lighting change on the text as you do this. This is as simple and as straightforward as it could be. To change the colour of the light, simply double click it. I clicked on the main blue light, which lights the front of the text. If I alter the hue here, you can see the object changing. If I drag the colour to white, the front of the object becomes white. To adjust the shadow direction, drag the stripey light, or you can just drag on the shadow itself, and you can see that the image is instantly updated. Now let's move to the extrusion options. Extrusion is the 3D depth of an object. By adjusting this slider, you can adjust the depth a much more direct method allows you to adjust the extrusion directly. If you move the mouse to the side, the pointer changes. Now if you drag on the image, you can directly alter the extrude. It's simple. I'll load another example to show off the bevel options. 
There is a long list of bevel types available. This is square in-cut. This is a simple curved side. This is round-faced. I can adjust the size of the bevel with this slider. We've already shown you that you can adjust the extrude by dragging on the side. But there's another shortcut to directly adjust the bevel size. Move over the side and hold control. Now when you drag, you can adjust the bevel to be smaller or larger. With the shadow controls, you can adjust the transparency or the shadow blur. The texture option allows you to change the texture of the text, or just the side or face of the text, or the background. If you click the Load Texture button, you can get a choice of hundreds of seamless textures. In this case, I'll select a stone background, a pale marble. I'll also change texture of the text, in this case to be a grained wood texture. I can adjust the size of the texture and thus the grain of the wood in this case. All very easy and you get great results. Another really cool feature is the design option. That allows you to place your heading on a board with or without holes or to create buttons and border styles. This is a very simple 3D text. The last four options here change the design type. The first is simple text, as you see. The second option places this text on a button. You can select from a wide range of preset shapes or any imported shape. The third option shows the text extruded on a board background. The next option shows the text cut out of the board background. The last option shows the text with a border around it. And of course, you can adjust the extrude depth and bevel of either of the text or the board design. The Designs Options panel provides many more options, such as being able to adjust the roundness of the corners. You can even have very elaborate borders, such as this one. Zara 3D can also animate your 3D graphics and can output this as an animated GIF, movie file, screensaver or flash file. We've kept the animation controls simple, but the results can be really impressive. You select the options you want from the animation options. To preview the animation, you simply select the Animate button. Here you can see a simple rotation animation, but with the lower line rotating the opposite way. Because of the system used to record this movie, the animation here is nowhere near as smooth as the real thing. Zara 3D produces absolutely smooth animations and you can even continue to adjust the angle while it's animating or even edit the text whilst it's rotating. So it now says new version 6. The animation controls couldn't be simpler. You can alter the animation speed or number of steps per revolution. Increasing the steps reduces the speed. You can alter the direction, the number of loops and you can pause the first frame. You can also rotate the text and the light separately. There are loads of animation types to choose from. You've just seen one of the simplest, rotation around the centre. But you can also make the image swing, pulsate, fade, ripple and wave. Within a given animation style, you can apply different options to individual letters or words. For example, I can enable the cursor select just the three digit and alter the direction of this letter. Creating an animation is simple, but it can be even quicker. If you click on Animation Picker, you'll find a collection of ready-made animations. Click on any of these and you'll see a preview of the animation applied to your graphic. This saves you a tremendous amount of time in trying to create a really great animation. One other neat feature of animation that I want to demonstrate is multi-page animations which run through a sequence of different images. Simply type your sequence divided by Control Enter. I'll use the text editor here. So I can now enter News and press Control Enter. This symbol means a new page. Now if I close this and start the animation you can see what I mean. 
I'll just adjust a few of the animation options to produce a pulsating effect. All the animation styles can run sequences in the same fashion. Once I've finished, I can save this as a movie file or animated GIF for you straight away on my website. That's about it for this quick run through. I hope you'll agree that this is a seriously cool product and probably the easiest 3D program you'll ever find. And it produces stunning quality images. All this for less than $45. The Zara 3D CD contains over 500 examples. I'll give you a quick preview of what's possible with Zara 3D. There are other really neat features that I haven't had time to demonstrate in this movie. You can, for example, create perfectly smooth animated screensavers. To find out more about this and other features, and to download the free trial, visit our website at zara.com.